Hello and welcome to my first bullet journaling video. I started bullet journaling in January this year and I wasn't sure if I was going to take to it or like it so I bought this uh, really cheap uh, Muji notebook and I actually ended up really uh, liking it. It's, it's really nice, surprisingly. And I watched some intro videos on bulletjournal.com, looked at some plan with me videos on YouTube and just uh, went at it. Um, so I found that I really love bullet journaling. It's a lot of fun. It helps me uh, keep organized. It helps me um, express myself maybe artistically. I suppose. And so here we are uh, in September, nine months later, and um, I've sort of run out of room in this journal. So it's time for a new one. Yep. Uh, so it's time to move to a new journal. So I did some research because I wanted to get a real notebook this time. And I settled on this one, the Scribbles That Matter um, Pro version with the small icons on the back and this really nice teal with yellow accent. I chose this one because supposedly uh, the pages are thicker and there's less go ghosting than on the Loisterms. Uh, but I don't think it ends up uh, really mattering. But Anyway, here we are, uh, migrating to a new bullet journal from the first one, which is a little bit beat up and well loved, to the new one. It's uh, a little bit... Um, it's both exciting and stressful. Uh, yeah. So, um, in my old Bujo, what I did, so first I made a list of which spreads I wanted to carry over to the new journal and then I made a spread in the uh, old journal where I did some small thumbnails, what do I want to do, what kind of spreads, what order and then I decided on a theme now the uh, theme for the front part of the Bujo. Now the teal and yellow made me think of a bit of a Sailor Moon theme, you know, Sailor, Sailor Neptune and uh, Sailor Uranus. But I decided to just simplify it and go with a theme of sea and sky. Now I still decided to keep to the principle because uh, I chose the colors that I'm going to use based on this painting that I did a while back. I'm going to be using yellow for the yellow accent and a lot of blues and greens for the doodles and the likes. Now let's look at the materials that I'm going to be using for this uh, thing. So I don't have a lot of materials, basically fine liners. So I've got the Sakura uh, Pigma Micron pens 003-005, uh, gel pen, Sarasa gel pen. I picked this up at Tokyo Hand. I'm not sure what brand it is, but I really like it. It sort of glides nicely on the page. The Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip uh, pen, of course, a ruler, eraser, and I also uh, will be using Crayola super tips. Here they are in many colors of blues and green and of course the yellow. And for some a bit of a shiny accent, the uh, starry colors uh, from Kuretake. So I can put some gold and silver accents. So without further ado, let's get to the migration. All right, let's go.
So I decided to start with a title page, an illustration of some waves and the moon and stars on strings, as well as a quote page. Now I did it in colors and I ended up very disappointed with the STM paper because the colors sunk right through and as I checked the uh, watercolors on the other side while they were still damp it was uh, really it looked like a disaster Fort fortunately at least with the watercolors when they fully dried they weren't visible anymore Now the quote that I chose for the beginning of the Bujo says smell the sea and feel the sky and I thought it was quite appropriate for the mood that I wanted to set. So here I started putting in some color with the super tips the waves I must have used like five different kinds and after seeing the bleed through on the other side and also the time that it took me I decided uh, not to repeat that for all the other waves on the following pages as you will see But of course, I had to go in with the uh, Kuretake starry colors and color in the stars and the moon in gold. So these two pages here are the first two pages of my future log. I don't do a year at a glance because I write in the days on the uh, months on the future log anyway. And if I need a reference, I can just look there. So instead of just writing so many, so many numbers twice, I only do it once. So I started the future log from November since I'm starting this journal from October. Now important dates for October will go in that month and everything further on will go in the future log. Now I don't know how long this journal will last me. Uh, the previous one lasted me from January until September and this one has a few more pages. So I just did a future log for 12 months, so from November until October of next year.
drawing a little birthday cake at the bottom because I will separate the birthdays from the rest of the important dates. In my previous journal for my future log I had a horizontal layout but I saw a lot of vertical ones on Pinterest and I really liked it so I decided to try it out for this one. Now the pages you saw me skip are the spreads for my level 10 life and 11 10 goals and these require a bit of thought and sitting and thinking and evaluating so I will do them in another sitting so moving on to the next spreads we have my fitness spreads so I'm starting with some fitness goals and then a reference page for my um, exercise program Now here has got to be my favorite spread from this whole setup, which is for my body measurements. Um, I again I got some inspiration from Pinterest and I just really really like how it came out.
and of course I had to paint in the stars in her hair gold and it gave it a bit of a mermaid vibe and as I said I really like it So as you can see this one is a simple uh, weight tracker, just one big graph over two pages. Now the next two pages are a hunger scale reference and an exercise tracker. So the exercise tracker is simple, I just mark uh, that day whether I've run, gone to the gym, done yoga or anything else. Now the hunger scale as reference uh, is something maybe that I should explain. It's something that I've been working on as part of uh, mindfulness. Uh, trying to divorce uh, physical hunger from emotional hunger, trying to be more mindful of my uh, body's cues. So it's a scale from 1 to 10, where uh, actually 0 to 10. 0 is when you're absolutely starving and 10 is like you're full to burst. And trying to see where you are at before you eat, after you eat, that kind of mindfulness. Hence the large be mindful at the bottom of that page. Now the next two spreads, actually the next four spreads, I didn't have in my previous journal. Uh, it's wish list waiting on. Um, so yeah, basically I'm dividing it between things that I need, things that I want. And waiting on is uh, because this year I've started actually backing some comics related Kickstarters. So just a reminder for myself, oh, when is this uh, supposed to arrive?
And of course, these are uh, to watch list and to read list. Actually, I did have a books uh, list in my previous journal, uh, but I didn't have a list of things to watch. I'm going to keep track of things, uh, movies, TV shows that I want to watch. I don't expect to get through a lot of it because I'm not very good at watching things, uh, but I do hope to have a very good to-read list. And now for the most important page of all, my Welcome to Night Vale tracker. I've been listening to the podcast from the beginning and it has over 130 episodes, 133 now I think. And since I'm starting at the beginning, I really needed a way to keep track of uh, which ones I've listened to. So this one I've just carried over exactly as it was from my previous journal with all 130, 132 actually, because we have some A and B episodes. And to finish this part of the setup, I wrap up with a quote. This one I found by googling some quotes about sea and sky, and it's one by Haruki Murakami, and I really liked it. It says, um, it's hard to tell the difference between sea and sky, between voyager and sea, between reality and the workings of the heart. All right, and now it's time for the final flip through. So after a really long time, I finished all of the spreads for the start of my journal. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some inspiration for your own journal. And next, uh, I will make a video with my setup for October. I'm really excited about this theme that I've chosen for October, so stay tuned. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.